Well, the Labor Party is split on the government's new migration amendment bill, with members arguing the emergency legislation is flawed and in breach of the ALP national platform. Our political correspondent, Olivia Casely, has this exclusive story. I've obtained this letter from Labor for Refugees in the ACT and New South Wales, and it's to the uh, Senate committee that will be scrutinising uh, this legislation. It was emergency legislation introduced by the Albanese government last sitting week, and as we'll remember, it did cause quite a stir. In many ways, it was Labor's attempt to try and get on the front foot ahead of a High Court decision uh, involving an Iranian detainee called ASF-17 and try and close a loophole for detainees who are refusing to cooperate with their deportation. But it would appear that it's causing a bit of a split among the ALP rank and file in this letter. It essentially calls on the government to explain or provide a clear articulation about why this legislation is necessary and also describes it as an example of lawmaking on the run. I'm going to take you to this letter now. It's dated April 10, so yesterday, and has this to say. In the short time available, we are not confident that we have found all the flaws in the bill, but we are aware of many. The Law Council of Australia has raised the following serious rule of law and human rights concerns about the Migration Amendment Bill. Uh, it says cons consultation and transparency are lacking, the lawmaking is rushed, and its apparent use to preempt a High Court ruling. It says Labor for Ref Refugees shares these concerns. In addition, we are concerned that in some respects the proposed legislation would appear to be in breach of the ALP National Platform 2023 and it recommends the bill is taken off the Senate bills list until the final report is available. It says in the meantime it opposes the passage of the bill and urges all parties and independents in Parliament uh, to take uh, the referral of this bill as an opportunity to avoid enacting a bill that's an example of law making on the run and that will do more harm than good. Well, remember that the introduction of this legislation resulted in some of the most fiery scenes of this parliamentary sitting term, you could say, Kieran. It was something that took both the crossbench and coalition by surprise. They received that early morning briefing just before that bill was ultimately introduced. Uh, that committee, which is now... Uh, going to be looking at the bill after the Coalition and Greens teamed up because they wanted further transparency and further scrutiny. That's not going to be reporting back until May 7, so just before budget. But already we're seeing a split emerging among the ALP. The opposition leader, Peter Dutton, this morning weighed in on the migration bill. Claire O'Neill is like this, just this rolling train wreck. We now see that Claire O'Neill is putting forward urgent legislation into the parliament. It's splitting the Labor Party. They're saying to some countries, but not others, that you can't bring people to Australia, that they won't issue visas, that they might issue visas in certain circumstances. It's a dog's breakfast. The government has been under sustained political and legal pressure ever since the High Court ruled at the end of last year and found that ongoing immigration detention is illegal. And it did see the release of around 150 detainees released from immigration detention. In the government's view, this area of law is now unsettled and they are expecting rolling court challenges in the months and years ahead. Ultimately, though, this case of ASF-17 involving the Iranian detainee, that's going to appear before the High Court again next Wednesday.